Bonjour, je suis Danielle. It's Tuesday, you're watching The Revolution. This week's topic is about weight. Do we weigh ourselves? And I'm adding what significance do we put on the number on our scale. Personally, I do weigh myself. Well, I know how much I weigh. I don't weigh myself regularly and I don't put a lot of significance or the number on the scale doesn't have much weight in my life. There's been periods of my life, as I'm sure most women and possibly men too, where they've focused so much on how they weigh and how they look. And because it wasn't measuring up to society standards, they dieted. And a very common dieting program is Weight Watchers. I'm pretty sure every woman in America has been on Weight Watchers at one point in their life, probably five. So I, like mo most women, have been on Weight Watchers. And I think it is horrible for one's self-esteem, one's worth. You go in every week and you weigh yourself. And whether or not you dropped half a pound or a pound determines whether you were successful that week. Frequently, you gain. I just think it's horrible, and at this point in my life, I don't want to put any At this point in my life, I don't want to put much time and effort into caring about what the number is. Being aware but not letting it letting it rule, not becoming obsessed with the number on the scale because ultimately it doesn't mean shit. Unless you are under medical supervision for an ailment that you have where weighing yourself regularly is a requirement, I think we put too much emphasis in our society. Whenever I'm going, whenever I want to weigh myself or I'm freaking out about the number on the scale, I think about how there's people in the world who don't have enough food, anywhere in the world, who don't have access to clean drinking water. I put it in perspective how asinine it is that I'm sitting here crying because I have too much when people don't have anything. Our society's ass backwards. So, this week's topic being asking if we weigh ourselves. Yes, I have weighed myself. I do know how much I weigh. I know that on average, our weight fluctuates each day based on the intake and then what we remove from our bodies. Uh, so it fluctuates. As I get older, the putting, um, I look at it as wasting my time, and if I'm feeling bad about it, I try to immediately correct it, you know, this is not something I want to worry about, this is not something that I want to be, to have, to hold merit in my life, um, my weight doesn't define my worth, which I've talked about in a previous video, um, and it makes me sad that we, that it comes down to that. You know, that our, our self-worth can be broken down to a number on a scale. Even though it's more than that, you know, it's more about how we look. But when we talk about the number, because the number will equal what size clothing we wear, etc. You know, the whole thing is just sad to me. It's upsetting. And I guess my advice... Dog's barking. If, if you're letting the number on your scale rule rule you. Um, my advice is to sit down and think about yourself in at the end of your life, whether it's you know 20 years, whether it's 40 years, whether it's 60 years, depending on how old you are. When you look back on your life, is this something that you are going to want to have invested so much of yourself in so much of your time, your energy, and your thoughts. 
My guess is probably not. And then guide yourself from there. I, I don't want to waste any more time on the relevance of the stupid number on the scale. We weigh less on the moon, you know. But we still look the same. That's it for me for this week's topic. As you can tell, I love it. I don't. Have a great week, and I will see you next week with another glorious topic in the Revolution. Adios.